Okay guys, welcome to small group, elementary small group day two. So here's what you're gonna need. We have all the supplies ready. So you're gonna need a blow dryer and we will provide a ping pong ball, okay? But you're gonna need a blow dryer, all right? And then you're gonna need a metal spoon and then we're gonna provide you with a craft stick and a string, okay? So just to be clear, you'll need a spoon and you'll need a blow dryer. We'll provide the rest. And then you're gonna need to get out your focus notebook that we used yesterday, and we're gonna do something with that. So the first thing is called Ding Dong, and here's what it is. It's talking about sound, we're talking about hearing from God today. So here's what I need you to do. You also need a partner for this. So maybe it's a sibling or a parent or whoever, but you're gonna need a partner for this. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take the spoon and hold it in your hand. You'll grab the craft stick and you'll hit it and listen to the sound, okay? Easy, so you're just listening to the sound. Now what you're gonna do, this is where the partner comes in. You're going to grab the string and tie it to the spoon, okay? So you're gonna tie it to the spoon and then you'll hold it up. So you just tie it, you probably need to tie it in a double knot so it'll hold it. And then you'll hold it up. Now your partner, I'm gonna do it by myself, but your partner, is going to grab the craft stick and hit it. What you're gonna see is, you're gonna have to see if you hear something different, okay? So if you have a partner, your partner needs to tap it so you can hear better. If you don't have a partner, that's okay, but it'll be better if you have a partner, okay? And then parents, you're gonna go through the discussion questions, digging deeper on how this activity relates to what we're talking about today, okay? All right, so then the second activity is called verse to take with you, and you're gonna need your ping pong ball and a hair dryer, and you're gonna need a Bible, okay? So you'll need all of those things. Um, again, we're providing the ping pong ball. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your hair dryer, plug it in, and then you're gonna open your Bible to Hebrews 12:2. Okay, that's our verse, and you're gonna read the verse together. So just read it simply, just read it together. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn the hair dryer on, and you put the ping pong ball over the dryer, and it's gonna do something, you'll see, right? You're gonna have to try to keep the ball in the air while you hear the verse, okay? So while your parent is reading the verse, you have to try to keep the ping pong ball up, okay? Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna switch. So you're gonna let your sibling or your parents hold the ping pong ball and the glow dryer and you'll read the verse, okay? It's a little bit harder than you think. All right, and after that parents, you, you see the wrap up and you'll just talk about why we did that, okay? And then we're gonna go into prayer time. So for day two, prayer time, what you do is you grab your notebook, your prayer notebook and your glasses, your 3D glasses, and parents, you're just gonna go through what this instructional paper says. So it says, ask the kid to go to page seven, they're numbered, so you're gonna go to page seven, and all you have to write is, God, I hear you when. Okay, so you're just gonna write down, when do you hear God? Okay, so do you hear God when you're praying? Do you hear God when you're singing, worshiping, right? Ask your child when they hear God, and you're gonna write it down, they could um, draw, they can write the words, they can doodle, whatever they want to do. Write it on page seven. And then again, remember that they're 3D. So once you write, you can see, you can put your glasses on and see that it's 3D. And then parents on this one, this is where we really want you to dig deeper. So under the dig deeper questions, make sure you do that because those are gonna be where you really, really dig into the lesson for the day. Remember, this is called small group, but it's also Bible time, okay, Bible activity time. So make sure to do the dig deeper questions and take your time on praying and all of that, okay?